All right. Hey everybody, welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie. I'm gonna give you five tips to help you on your keto low carb journey. And if you're tuning in real quick and you're like, she was already doing this, yes, I forgot to put my phone on do not disturb. And if I don't do that, people like to call me and disturb me. They just like to call. So I apologize, I was already live and I got cut off. So we're gonna try this again. I'm gonna give you five tips to help you on your low carb keto journey. What I want from you as you're tuning in is I want to know what is one goal or what are your goals that you are hoping to achieve. So what is something that you're wanting in the next six months? Uh, and we can say specifically health goals. Like what is one health goal that you are wanting? If you're open to sharing, I would love for have you to share below. What is a goal? that you want to achieve? Do you want some fat loss or run a marathon? Or do you want to maybe start planning your meals? Do you want to eat healthier? Do you want to be able to walk further, uh, lose a couple inches? What is it? Now, my question to you as you're writing down your goals, and I am tuning in from my phone, I am tuning in from my car, my daughter's taking piano lessons, so it just works out for me to chat with you while she's playing the piano. Now, my question to you is this, with the goals that you're writing down, and you should think about this with anything in your life. Are you committed? If you had to say yes or no to the goals that you are going to comment below, my next question is, are you committed? Now, I like people to understand something. Your yes can mean two different things. Your yes can mean, yes, I'm committed until until it gets hard, I get tired, I get lazy, until I go to a birthday party, my yes is until. Or your yes is, yes, I'm committed and I'm giving something up until I get it. So your yes can mean two different things and I wanna know how committed you are to your goals. Are you a yes until or you are a yes and I'm giving up something else? Because oftentimes to hit your goals, you're gonna have to give up things like maybe TV, right? or some other fun things because you're going to the gym. You might give up, uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is for you. You might give up going out for supper with friends because you're committed and you know that if you go out with them, you're gonna eat something and so you're gonna plan your meals and meet up with them after. I don't know what it is for you. But either yes until or yes, I'm committed and I'm giving these things up. Now, I'm gonna give you five real quick tips that I honestly coach people on every single day. And I truly feel that if people could think about these five things, it would help you immensely and you will hit your goals. I'm not gonna give you a time frame because everybody's different, but I will tell you these five things are super helpful. All right, so number one, the first one is, I wrote them down, uh, if you are not hungry, you don't have to eat if you're not hungry. And I have one to kind of capitalize on that, but you do not have to eat if you're not hungry. It doesn't matter what kind of diet you are doing. I don't care if you're paleo or Whole30 or keto or low carb, people overeat. They simply overeat. So that would roll into my next one, which is number two is stop snacking so much. If you're not hungry, you don't need to eat. And oftentimes we have food in our sight all day long, whether it's the candy drawer food on the cupboard, in the employee lounge, wherever you're going, and we see it and we want it. And when we see it, we feel like our, our body goes, oh, I think I'm hungry, and you're really not. So if you could honestly take this idea of like, if I'm not hungry, I don't need to eat, and I don't need to be snacking all day long, I don't need to force feed myself every two hours, those two things will help you immensely people overeat and they even overeat good food. So just be aware. Am I hungry? Am I bored? Am I hungry? Am I emotional? Am I hungry? Or do I physically see food and think I need to eat when I really don't? All right. So don't, you don't need to over, you don't need to eat if you're not hungry. Number two is you don't need to be snacking all day long. Number three I wrote down is, uh, oh, hold on. Oh, sugar. I want you to actually take uh, inventory or be aware of what's in your shaker cup, your shaker bottle, blah, 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 your water bottle. What are you drinking? So people drink so much sugar and the amount of things that people drink throughout the day, uh, it is really truly crazy because they're drinking their calories. They're drinking their calories and sugar. They're drinking their whole meals in sugar. It's honestly kind of wild and crazy. Uh, oh, 
I need to see if I need to move. Oh, he got out. All right. There was another person here. All right. So what's in your shaker bottle? What's in your coffee cup? What's in anything that you're drinking? The amount of sugar that people, the amount of sugar, there's people all over the place. The amount of sugar that people drink, it's unbelievable. It's excess calories. You don't need it. It's a waste and you're basically drinking your meals. So you don't need to eat if you're not hungry. You need to stop overeating, stop overly excessively snacking, and what's in your shaker bottle. Uh, the next one is, I need you to drink more water. Oftentimes, people will message me, and they're doing really good with their food, and I'll say, are you drinking enough water? And that would be their biggest downfall. And as soon as they drink water, half your body weight in ounces of water, they feel better. So drink your water. I always have a water bottle with me. It's filled up. We go places. I, I always have, even in a restaurant, I like to take my own water bottle with me and I like to use their cold ice in my own cup. So I don't know. It's a thing. So, and then lastly is people eat too much fat and you might be going, wait, keto is all fat. A true ketogenic diet is all fat. Like if you're actually doing a ketogenic diet, then you get to eat 80% fat because you're eating almost no carbs. Most people here, I would actually bet 95% of people on this page, which is almost to a million by the way, they're not actually eating keto, they're eating low carb. And in eating low carb, you can have some fats like the yolks in your eggs and fatty meat and nuts and things like that. But when people use this concept of it's keto, I can eat it. I can eat as much bacon and butter as I want. I can eat all of the avocado that I want, but they're not actually keto, they're low carb. You're just overeating. Again, it comes down to how many calories. And people go, do I have to count calories here on keto? In general, you don't need to, but I'm gonna give you just a concept real quick. There are more calories in a fat gram than a carb gram. So if you're excessively eating fat, avocados and bacon and cheese and butter and all these things, almonds, egg yolks. If you're eating all of that, that's fine, but you better have your carbs really, really low. But if you're eating all of that fat and then you're also eating low carb, which is like buns off the burgers, croutons off the salad. I'm grabbing a lettuce wrap. You're being mindful, but you're actually probably still around 50 to 70 carbs a day. You're just going to eat too much food. You want to know something? It all boils down to how much food you're eating. All of it. All of it does. The amount of snacking and excess sugary drinks and excess even healthy snacks. Like people just overeat good food. They overeat in general. So you need to understand when your body's hungry, when you should be eating, and how often we eat out of boredom and out of emotions and out of like just comfort, reward, um, like environment, right? So that's it. Those are the tips for the day. And if you can just be mindful and be aware, I promise you, you will get to your goals. You've got to tweak some things, uh, make better choices. Uh, are you committed? Yes or no? Yes or yes. Like how committed are you? And then go for it, right? Not perfect. We say don't mess up good for perfect. The only way you fail is if you quit. So if you if you have one of those days and you ate everything that you saw, then the next day you're going to keep going. You're going to get back up. You're going to keep going and you're going to keep going, right? None of us are perfect. But in general, if you take five seconds and before you put food in this mouth, you go, am I hungry or bored? Five seconds. Am I hungry or bored? Oh, I think I'm bored. I'm actually not going to eat. Or you might go, am I hungry? Yeah, I actually haven't eaten all day and it's three o'clock. I'm hungry. There's very, you can tell your body will tell you. So I hope that's helpful. I hope you guys have an incredible day. I'm going to wrap. Well, I'm just going to sit here until she's done with piano. Uh, there is a new flavor of ketones that came out for a certain group of people today and maybe the rest of y'all tomorrow or the next day. If you've never tried my mom fuel, this is the only thing you're going to find in my cup. I drink water and I drink ketones or protein. Uh, I drink this because it's my fuel source. I drink it because it puts me in ketosis in under an hour. I drink this because it's it's ketones. Your body can make them and you can drink them. So it gives me my energy I need for the day. It turns my brain on. I, I've never felt better in my life and I've been drinking them for over seven years. So if you've never tried them, I have some really fun things. Uh, 
just for this week. And so post trial in the comments and we'll chat about this. It's pretty amazing. Uh, and I actually do want to know your goal. So if you post trial down below, I want to get to know you. Um, you guys, this one is great, Lori. It tastes like a handful of Skittles. It's like sweet and sour at the same time. So a lot of them are just lightly sweet. This one is, we've never had one like it. It's incredible. So tastes like Skittles, tastes like candy. It tastes like Skittles. It's really good. So if you've never tried mom fuel ever, I just want you to think of a tool that will help you get into ketosis in under an hour. And it's going to give you the energy, the focus, the appetite control, the better mood, helps with sleep, helps with not eating all the junk, helps me stay awake with my kids. Um, it helps with digestion, muscle preservation, and so much more. It's honestly incredible. So post trial in the comments, we'll chat. Otherwise, continue to tune into the page for different tips and tricks and ideas and recipes and so much more. You can go to ketomomsecrets.com or send me a message and I'm here to help. So have a wonderful afternoon and we'll talk to you soon.